Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jacer. Um, so, you know, I'm learning the relay. Um, I had a, a video series up, uh, about uh, the relay concept and uh, I find it very interesting that, you know, that for relay, um, it's basically is a compiler. Uh, like, like, you know, if we want to hoist uh, the data dependencies to the parent, we just, uh, we could just uh, fetch the data in the parent and pass down through the children, through the props, right? But that like uh, separates the data dependency to the component itself. So in, in one, one way, we want to uh, put the data, data fetching together. But on the other hand, we want to declare the data dependency to where it, it wants. And th that cannot be solved at the same time. I think there's a video from Dan. Uh, I suggest you watch the video. Uh, but uh, but one, th one thing is that um, if we want, we, we can start uh, writing the data dependency where it is used while using a using some script like this compiler to uh, write the extra code for us. So basically, uh, we are to do data fetching to the parent, but uh, on the on the surface, right? On the surface, uh, we don't do that. But under the hood, uh, it does it for us. So I think that's the power of building. So the build process is super interesting. Uh, I, I here. I put a very simple example to illustrate what is what I am uh, trying to uh, explain. So suppose you're using TypeScript and you have some like uh, um, class inheritances. Uh, so this is the base class. Nothing, nothing, nothing is there. It's just a prop um, on it, and the t prop of the type is defining the types. So there's other uh, classes as the subclasses of base class you can see a class extends base class and it has its own prop and for b class it has its prop at b so it's kind of i think it's a pretty common pattern is that you have some super class and a subclass but you want to give each class a different name right this is a subclass or some type information um you, you need a way to uh, distinguish between uh, the instance, right? So if you have a like uh, a class instance, b class instance, you want to get a method like okay, get uh, get prop, right? Get name, get type, something like that. But anyway, here's a, just for simplification, uh, we are uh, doing something like this. So uh, in a in a very simple way, you would think that okay, every time I create a new class, I would put put an extra uh, value in the uh, union here, right? If like I type C, okay, I need to see, put a C and uh, maybe a D, something like that. But this trick, this actually has the same uh, issue as what we I mentioned in a, a relay example. Is that uh, you can see that for the class itself, the value is used in this class, but actually you're defining it into a separate file, which is which is not cool, right? We, it's I think like the data dependencies, we better just to define uh, define it uh, where it is used, and uh, and this type uh, is not cool. I suppose like uh, w what if I want uh, get all get uh, the, the all the possible types uh, in, in these uh, in all classes? It would say okay, that's simple. That's a common pattern here as well. It's uh, const uh, types equals uh, use an array. A, um, B, and here as const and export type equals uh, type of uh, types and uh, number, right? Yeah. So, so now you can uh, not only you can get the values, uh, but not the type information, but the values of all the classes, but also the type itself. So. Every time, like you're adding a C, C class, uh, what you do? Like that, just to copy it. Um, so the step is okay. I define a C class .ts, put it here and put it in C. Obviously, TypeScript is gonna complain for us uh, because yeah, it's not in a prop prop. So you define it here, put it in here. This is absurd. Like if we take a look closer look at what we're doing, this type, this kind of definition. It actually could be built from uh, our source files, right? We actually, it, it is not what we want to define such types, but we want to use some information which extracted from classes we define. 
um, similar as uh, relay, actually we could build build them. So basically, this is simple. We could just uh, analyze uh, all the classes under. Uh, well, it depends on the file structure. It's just a simple example. You could do it like a more fancy way. Um, what we want to do is actually um, get to the name prop value from all the classes, defining the classes of fil filter, and then we could generate the types um, by script. So uh, I have already created a uh, build types script here. Uh, it's simple. And see, like we define the uh, directory, which is classes, and you read files. We get all the files, uh, which is the file names. And then uh, in this build, we would, would uh, for each file, we would dynamic import it and uh, create a new instance and get the prop. So we can get all the values about the classes. Uh, this is just some hacky way, I think. Um, you can do it better, maybe. Uh, you can do it like doing some AST, uh, just a purely and that's in the program. I'm, I'm here taking advantage of uh, the program. Um, it may not work for your case. Uh, you need to uh, find it uh, a way by yourself. Uh, but anyway, it, it, the idea is that we can actually extract the type from the files, from the modules. And then because there might be duplicate, duplicates, uh, we put it in the set and something like this. And then we could just uh, um, generate the type file by this. So you can see new. A unique types and map it. So this is the this is the file actually uh, what we manually define here, and then uh, and we just write file to the build types. Uh, you can also do it like a uh, uh, fancy way. You can use the uh, parser generator and generate the uh, very structured uh, type script type script file. Um, but it's beyond my pay grade. Um, I cannot do something complex at that as that. Anyway, uh, at last we run build. So let's run it. Um, okay, so yeah, because because when we write something like this, it will generate TS errors. When you run it, we need to ignore the errors. Otherwise, you will not run. Uh, let's just run it. So it's npm run build. Cool. So you can see we have a build types here now. You can see it's ABC. So now rather than we uh, do something like this. We could just uh, explore type uh, prop from the uh, build types. Yeah. So now we don't have any manual code here at all. Um, so you can see. Okay, it's it's right. It's working. So let's. To take a look, uh, the example of writing a new class now TS. Okay, you just write it an extend based class, and then just prop, like, like say D. Okay, and th that's it. And then we uh, run build. Cool. And then uh, it should work. Yeah, you can see there's no error. Mm -hmm. What is it? Cannot find types. Uh. Oh, sorry. I should put it here. Cool. You see, it's it's working. D. Oh no, it's not working. Let's see the part again. So it's uh, npm run build. Um. So for the D, you can see it's D, and the build type is D. So we've already we free ourselves from manually maintain this kind of types. This is really uh, time consuming and uh, not scalable. So also, there's another trick is that we can actually do some script by preventing uh, preventing different classes using the same uh, same um, type. Uh, uh, like like C D, we use different like for D. You should not use C, but you, you accidentally use C. We cannot know that from the type, right? Because yeah, it's valid. We don't have this kind of uh, unique validation for in TypeScript. That that's what I believe. But we can do that in the build types. So it's very simple. So if like when we, when we collect the unique types, uh, if the length is not equal to types the length, then we throw some error. Throw a new error. Say, hey, uh, like uh, okay. Uh, uh, like uh, 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 some classes are using 
in the same uh, problem value. So anyway, uh, we, we can even like uh, detect which class is using what. So we, we can generate bad error. This is just some, this is some example here. Uh, so we save it and run it again. We run build. Yeah, you say, hey, some classes are using the same prop. Better check it. Cool. So that's it. This is a very, I think it's a very possible, uh, no, powerful idea, right? Um, to just to save us uh, some workload, uh, just make our life easier as a programmer. Um, hope it helps. Um, uh, I bet you can come up with some fancier ideas to, uh, to, to, to help with the type stuff. Cool. That's it. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.